Hello my friends, this is Alien Contact D. Linnell Anderson here with you guys with a brand new YouTube bit shoot video once again here at the Youth Pyramids. Well, today I want to talk to you guys about a very serious important topic and that is how to, uh, you know, end the existence of the reptilians, right? Because what it comes down to at the end of the day, my friends, is there is a way to defeat these creatures. And I'm gonna reveal how we exactly do that in today's video. Before we get into that, I'm gonna encourage everybody to smash that subscribe button. As I say, subscribe to survive. Live on location, Egypt, we were in Rome last week. Tons of great videos, exposing NWO, extraterrestrials, occult, much more. So subscribe, smash the like button, and hey, if you want to buy me a coffee, it would be much appreciated. I'm on the website, buy me a coffee. I'll leave the link down below. And you know, it's as simple as that. If you want to buy me coffee, buy me lunch, one time thing. Uh, you can donate easily, PayPal, debit card, whatever. Link is in the description, means the world to me and helps me out a lot. So I appreciate that. Or if you want to support on Patreon for exclusive content, link is in the description, okay? All right, so let's just get right into this video now. So what it comes down to, my friends, is how do we deal with these things, right? These creatures, these lizards, right? Well, a few years ago, I made a video that actually went viral on YouTube called How To... I gotta be careful what I say because I don't want this video to get demonetized or taken off. But how to, you know, end the existence of the lizards. But I was approaching it from a wrong view. I was talking about how to physically deal with them. Well, my friends, it is possible for them to manifest in physical form, but very rare, and it's just not gonna happen, right? This is more of a spiritual battle we're facing. So today, we're gonna tell you how to deal with these creatures on a spiritual basis, these lizards, my friends. Because at the end of the day, this is a spiritual war. Spiritual warfare, war warfare that we're engaged in, okay? So it's as simple as this, and I know some people may not have, may have a hard time grasping this concept, but I'm gonna explain it to you guys in a very clear way. But the way we defeat them and put an end to them is simply by this. One word, my friends. Love. And that's right. We love them. You could be saying, Lionel, what are you talking about? How could we love a dirty lizard uh, like that, a reptilian? How can we do that? Ugh. You know, these things are evil. They go around there eating kittens and among other things, you know, and uh, doing horrible things to all sorts of people and stuff. It's horrible. How, how am I supposed to love these lizards, you may say? Well, my friends, I'm not saying you got to personally love them. Oh, I love you so much. No, I'm not. It's not that kind of love. It's a, it's a different kind of love. It's unconditional love, my friends. Because at the end of the day, they're lower vibrational entities, yeah? Uh, they run off of fear, okay? And love is their kryptonite. You know, Superman, he has kryptonite, right? Well, the kryptonite for the lizards is love. They cannot stand love. If you're in the presence of a lizard and you bring up love, they flee. They're scared of it. It makes them weak. So if you could get in a position and you end up uh, seeing a lizard or something in a spiritual realm or something, talk about love they'll run away but how do we defeat them and totally overtake this world and bring it back to 5d level it's all based on love and if we can get enough people in the world operating at the love vibrational frequency um, then it's game over for them they gotta leave and they may even not even they, they may just croak they may just drop because they cannot handle love and at the end of the day, my friends, you gotta think of it this way. If you're having a hard time sending love to these creatures, you gotta think of this in this tough way. These lizards, these reptilians, they are you. What do I mean by that? Well, my friends, we all come from the same source, right? We all come from the same uh, God source. That's right, we, we all come from the same God source, my friends, okay? There was one consciousness in the beginning, you call it God, whatever you want, and then it broke himself into an infinite amount of souls 
to then go out and have these experiences of infinite amounts of consciousness. And some souls chose to experience beautiful things. That's where you get your star seeds and your angels from. They chose the high vibration. Some souls, which is just you, it's all you. Some souls chose to experience worse things, uh, lower vibrational lifestyles. And they got stuck there. They got stuck in this cycle. And they got worse and worse. And that's how you end up with these lizards. So that's what I'm saying, you know, if you're looking at them and you have hate in your heart for them, well, that just makes them happy. They want you to hate them. They love hate. Don't hate them. Don't give them what they love. Instead, give them what they hate, and that's love. And just think, yeah, I don't love what you're doing. I don't love all the people you've hurt. No, you don't have to love that. But you could have that unconditional love knowing that that bad, evil entity is actually you. It's actually you when it goes back to it at the end of the day. And you gotta say what? You gotta feel sorry for them how they ended up in the cycle of life, incarnating. They didn't go up and up, they went down and down and down. They're troubled souls, my friends. They're miserable souls, they're not happy. So don't hate them, no. Feel sorry for them. Give them love, send love to them. That'll put an end to them, my friends, once and for all. And hopefully that love that you send them can help them get out of the cycle they're in so they could start incarnating upwards and eventually they could make it back to the light we could bring them back to the light and next thing you know they'll be a Pleiadian right uh, or some other higher entity and they'll say wow what an experience we only got for eternity my friends we were eternal beings we're eternal beings we never died so that's all we could do is go up from here so, you know, this is a concept I've had, to, I've struggled with myself because I've always hated them, but no more room for hate with me, my friends. Send them love, that's all you can do. Okay, so if you enjoy my content, I hope you've subscribed by now and join me on Patreon, buy me a coffee, whatever you can do helps because it's not cheap to travel the world like this. So I could use your guys' help so I can continue bringing you this kind of content, okay? Links are all in the description. And you guys have a good one. Lionel, signing off. Okay, take a look at this dirty lizard. Size of this. That's a real mummified lizard. Oh, okay.